I realized I buy a few products every month, so it's better to share my initial impressions about them all with you in a single or two part video instead of a separate video for each product. Plus, this way you'll stay updated about what my skincare routine looks like and what I'm doing for my three key skincare problems, which is dehydration, acne, and PIH. I feel this is a much better approach currently uh, where it wouldn't be fair to make a video on my skincare routine because the very next day there is likely to be some or other change in it as I myself am learning to combine products. And my skin is different every day so I need to use products accordingly so I would be inaccurate to say that this is the routine I follow because there isn't any particular and yet still I'll give it more thought and I might make a basic skincare routine video. The products mentioned in this video though are not the only products I use on a daily basis but I plan to do this type of video every month so that by the end of a few months you'll be more rounded up on what I'm using and how I'm targeting specific skin problems. So my Aroma Magic Chamomile face wash got over and I was planning to reorder when I remembered the hydration quotient of the Acne Averse Cleanser from Dermafique against the backdrop of my skin drying out and occasionally peeling due to winters combined with the regular use of actives. Now I'd already used the Acne Averse Cleansing Mousse and had found it to be non-stripping of moisture and very gentle even hydrating on my face. I purchased it exactly a year ago and I didn't repurchase it because I was trying out other and cheaper face washes because I believed a face wash isn't where one should invest a lot of money but when recently my skin started drying out and occasionally peeling I decided to order it again and this time I thought to also order Aqua Quench with it because hey if Acne Avert is so hydrating and non-stripping then Aqua Quench would be far superior. That's just basic logic right? So Acne Avert is for oily skin and it's hydrating though even for my dry dehydrated skin whereas aqua quench is a cleansing mousse uh, both are clen cleansing mousses and uh, aqua quench is for all skin types and i basically bought it for like thinking i'll use it in the morning and then i'll use acne Evert in the evening and the reason i'll tell you is because both of these face washes when used singularly, like without a first cleanse, are not very effective at removing dirt from your face. I mean, I don't like to have dirt on my face. I'll just come to that in a moment. So, um, I realized uh, just now, in fact, that even the company sells Aqua Quench with the tagline as of a morning face wash. Though I disagree with the company's claims in a way about removing deep impurities and dirt because both face washes are not very good at cle uh, cleansing as in removing dirt if used at the end of the day singularly without a first cleanse. Their toner on the contrary is very good at removing any dust left on the face after a face wash. Uh, I've even made a review of it. If you uh, want, you can watch it here. I'll link it up. And regarding Dermafique's claim of dermatologist tested, it really means nothing because dermatologist tested is very different from dermatologist recommended. Hello. I found the fragrance of Aqua Quench very pleasant. In fact, it's one of those which is commonly found in body perfumes and deos. But then that raises the alarm that the strong fragrance might damage the skin, especially sensitive skin, which is prone to acne, like mine. And uh, so that's a big drawback. It's not like acne averse doesn't have a strong fragrance. It does, but I found kind of that Aqua Quench had a more strong fragrance. So I wish they had not added fragrance, but you know. <laughs> So, um, uh, also, I found that Aqua Quench is more runny as compared to Acne Avert. 
Now the Aroma Magic Insta Radiance Green Tea Pack. This face pack isn't moisturizing, unlike few other Aroma Magic face packs. Um, yeah, so basically I thought that all of Aroma Magic's face, uh, face packs are moisturizing, but I bought these two and I realized it's not so. Yeah, it did not even impart any glow. It has a watery consistency like that of the seaweed pack and oxy glow pack from Aroma Magic in case you've used those and it dries off really quick and after that you know there are white particles that start coming off and start getting suspended into the air from the face if in case you make any facial movements for example you're talking or if you're chewing something so next is the Aroma Magic Detoxifying Mineral Pack. So I purchased this basically for acne because they say that if you got acne you should use clay packs because they pull out impurities. Well truth be told my skin is dry and clay packs would dry it out further. But when I saw this one with Aroma Magic with the description specifying that it doesn't dry out skin I immediately purchased it. So after using it, I can say it doesn't crack up after drying like some other clay based face packs do, hence uh, wouldn't cause as much wrinkling damage as the other clay based face packs would. Um, and I would recommend this for when your skin is oily. Uh, or you know you can if you feel like and there is space between your benzoyl peroxide treatments then you can use this on your active acne i think and as a spot treatment and i think it should help though i cannot guarantee <laughs>